We're live. AC recording has begun. Also, is a cloud recording on the stream. Look good. Backups are rolling. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing vote for the Committee on Finance. At this time, will all panelists please turn on their videos for verification purposes and to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Drum, we're ready to begin. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. Uh, I'm Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. Uh, we have been joined by Council Members Cornegy, Rosenthal, Grudenchik, Adams, Ayala, Powers, Lewis, Dharma Diaz, Brooks Powers, Van Bremer, and Minority Leader Steve Matteo. And I want to take this opportunity to wish Steve good luck in his new position as he moves on. It has been a great opportunity uh, uh, to work with you on, on the Finance Committee and as a colleague in the New York City Council. Uh, you're a good man, and I just want to say thank you for your service to the city and uh, good luck in your, all your future endeavors. Today, the committee you, will be voting. You're welcome, Steve. Today, the committee will be voting on four items two Article 11 property tax exemptions, a bid item, and a transparency resolution. First, we have the land use items 1018 East 163rd Street in Councilmember Salamanca's district is the site of a 97 unit affordable housing preservation project. Today's action will provide a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption. 15 uh, Stratford Road in Council Member Eugene's district is the site of a 20 unit affordable housing project preservation project. Today's action will provide a partial 40 year Article 11 property tax exemption. Both council members are in support of the proposed exemptions for the projects in their districts. Next, we have the bid item. The committee is hearing a pre-considered resolution concerning the increase in the amount to be expended annually for two business improvement districts, retroactive to July 1st, 2021. The Lower East Side bid would increase its annual budget from 1.3 million to $2 million, and the Hudson Yards bid would increase its annual budget from 3 million to $6 million. <clears throat> the resolution would set December 9th as the date, 10 a.m. as the time, and chambers at City Hall as the place for the hearing on the local law increasing the annual expenditure for such districts. Finally, we had the transparency resolution. The transparency resolution sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging, anti-poverty, and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Disclosure forms must be completed and submitted prior to the vote on the transparency resolution and may be emailed to Charles Davis. Are there any questions on any of these items? Seeing none, um, I just before we close out, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. We certainly have much to be grateful for this year. Um, and with that, I will now ask Billy Martin, the committee clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. We'll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Van Bramer. I vote aye. Gibson. With my warmest wishes to everyone during the season of Thanksgiving, have a wonderful holiday with you and your families. I vote aye on all of today's agenda items. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Council. <laughs> Carnegie. 
Chief, Godspeed. I vote out. Thank you, sir. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Thank you, Grodenchik. I vote aye. Adams. Also wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving and thanks to our minority leader. Best wishes to you. You've always been such a wonderful colleague and gentleman. Best wishes, Steve Matteo. I vote aye on all. Thank you, Ayala. I vote aye. Powers. I can I can't I have to say I also feel the same way about Steve Matteo, who's one of the classiest guys I've ever met in politics and one of the best all around guys that I've gotten to know in this life. And so thank you, Adrian Adams, also for saying that. Uh, I vote aye and uh, you will be missed, my friend, but uh, we'll be in touch. Lewis. Sharing the sentiments of our colleagues, wishing you all the best, Council Member Matteo. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I vote aye on all. Dharma Diaz. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Maria, wishing you the best, and I'm sure we'll see you. I vote aye on all. Brooks Powers. Good morning. Wishing much success in the next chapter to Minority Leader Matteo. Happy Thanksgiving to all my colleagues and those who are viewing in. And I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Minority Leader Matteo. Thanks, Billy. Uh, thanks, everyone. I just uh, I want to thank you for your well wishes. Uh, it's extremely humbling. Um, I think we've shown um, that, you know, throughout throughout other governments, throughout other legislators and throughout the country that, you know, we can work together when we come to common ground and have respect for each other. And I think we've we've done that in this committee. I've been on this committee uh, ever since I've been minority leader and we've got to pass the veterans tax exemption with one another. And, and Danny, you've been a great chair and a great friend. Um, and we've all had mutual respect, and I hope um, going forward that can continue because I think this body needs it. And uh, I appreciate you all. I appreciate your friendship. People don't realize how close that we all we all become and, and as friends. And I, and I appreciate the kind words, and I'm, I'm going to miss you all, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly stay in touch. So thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to, to the staff as well. Um, thank you. I've been in City Hall since 2004, so um, I, I'll, I'll miss you all, and uh, please stay in touch. And with that, I'm going to vote aye and wish everybody happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh, so member Ampri Samuel. All the best to Minority Leader Matteo, and I vote aye. Thank you, Council Member Moya. All the best to you, Steve, to you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I vote aye on all. Thank you. By a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. And Chair Drum, we have a couple council members outstanding. So, yes, I'm going to ask that we keep the vote open for a few more minutes, 10 minutes or so, and uh, give those uh, council members an opportunity to join us. Thank you. Uh, I raised my hand, but I guess I'll just ask, is this going to be the, um, the Zoom room for uh, Chair Carnegie's committee, Building Housing and Buildings? Sure. Okay. Sure, all votes will be on this uh, on the Zoom, but uh, just keep in mind, we're still recording live, so. Okay. Um, but it, yes, all votes will be in the same Zoom room. Thank you. Morning, Council Member Combo. Whenever you are ready. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment. Vote is currently at 16 in the affirmative.
Billy Martin, I think we're ready to close. Sergeants. Sure, Mr. Chair. So final vote committee on finance. All items have been adopted by vote of 16, the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you very much. And with that, this hearing is closed at 1020 a.m.